All right, hello everybody. This is Jiminy Jerk from Soapbox Wizardry with my second casted session. Uh, I'm gonna be recording my play at three or four tables, probably three because four lags my computer while I am uh, streaming. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna be playing without any notes. Um, I'm gonna try to play entirely from memory. I'm gonna focus on making sure my continuation bets are an intelligent size. So I'm probably going to take a little bit of time on the flop, hopefully, anyways. Um, might as well get started though. Yeah, a little bit of lag here, so three tables is definitely going to be the maximum that I'm going to be looking at. Do, 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 whatever, sit down here. Um, I tend to be a little bit lazy with my table selection. I just look at the players per flop and um, the average pot size, and if it seems realistic then I'll go for it. Um, I don't sit and sit around and wait. Oh, come on, don't lag like that. Oh, I just tried to join the table I'm already sitting at. Genius. Genius. Okay, well, oh, those two have identical. Chances are the one that's been playing slower hasn't come straight out of being shorthand. Um, and come on, laggy computer. I really need a new computer. If anybody at Poker Strategy wants to donate a computer to me, that would be awesome. Uh, oh. Post it. Oh, I just barely squeaked in there with my posting the big line thing. That's a pretty easy check hold hand. Big surprise. Ah, oh, the table I just opened, you filled up. Oh, well. That's the way it goes. Okay. This table looks like it's been pretty juicy for a little while. And that way I'll get to get used to two tables before I move up to three. Okay, so it looks like somebody raised preflop, so I didn't get to play my 4H suited. Tragic. Absolutely tragic. Mm -mm -mm. I'm actually coming off of some uh, pretty poor days. Uh, the past two days have been really lame. Um, oh wow, you know, I am just batting a thousand. Hold a manager. Yeah, allow it, come on. Um, yeah, I uh, have had some pretty lame days as far as play is concerned. Uh, two days in a row now, it's just been a drag. There's been hardly any action hands at all. I, I'm sitting at tables and I'm just waiting for somebody to do something when I get a hand, but it, it doesn't. It just like I'll I'll invest an hour and a half and three hundred hands, and I will barely barely make the amount of rake that I need to in order for it to count as a strategy point, which of course is not the best way to look at things because that's kind of a rake oriented point of view and not a I need I want to improve as a player point of view, so. Oh, let's start the real lag. Now I've got auto import going while I'm recording. Hoo hoo hoo. Anyways. So hopefully the HUD will pop up. There we go. Awesome. Yeah. Hmm. Wait for the BB. Okay, so my queen tray offsuit is probably going to be folded. Um, I'm gonna take a look around here. I got Rockwise. What reads do I have on Rockwise? I have some notes. Okay, well, I'm just gonna. Okay, apparently he's poor ray sizing. I should be a little bit more specific on that kind of note. I think it's post flop though. He's been making some odd bets. Might also be pre flop. He's raising large. I usually make notes of who raises big. So I um, only attack them with better hands and I. Um, like really big pre-flop, I should say. You know, we're talking six, seven, eight times the big blind at times. Um, then I'll only attack them with really good hands and I'll punish their, um, punish their large raise size because they don't really need to raise that big. I, there's just no reason for it. It's not like <clears throat> if they're raising over limpers, sometimes they'll just open raise huge, which is, um, I think that's probably an incorrect play. Um, other than that, the table is full of unknowns, um, except for this person directly to my left, who's um, uh, apparently in, in the 42 hands I've seen him play, he's played 20 of them, probably. So. 
you know, that's great. I guess I'm going to be not raising as many hands. Oh well. Piece 10. Um, this is supposed to be a fold in this scenario, and I think I'm going to go with that. Um, this guy's an unknown. He min raised, which I'm making a note of now. Min raises. Fuck, that's annoying. Pardon my French. Free flop. Um, if he was in late position, I could um, consider 3-betting him here, but or mid position, but right now he's early position, and we've got a ton of people limping behind. So I'm just going to let them all duke it out. I don't really want my ace-10 off suit to get into a huge multi-way pot. It's not really good at drawing hand. If it was suited, I you know, and I was deeper, I was a deep stack player, or big stack, I'd be more interested. That's interesting. He fires a fairly large bullet right off the bat. Um, the board's pretty dry. I mean, Jack Ten. Yeah, it's possible that there are some straight draws out there, but and there's a flush draw, so it's yeah. Eh, I guess it's not extremely dry. It's um, dangerous board in some ways. Either way, I'm not playing, so it's not my problem. It's a continuation bet. It goes unanswered. That's interesting. My left on the upper right table. We have my friend Flux Flux here, who I've played quite a few hands with. And the only read I have on him is that he um, raises large. He's um, he's pretty tight though for a big stacker. He's I, th I think he might be on the tighter side of the big stack. Um, I haven't seen him do very much, but he's quite aggressive post flop apparently. Um, yeah, I gotta be careful with him. That's a continuation bet quite frequently. Um, yeah. Mm, yeah. Apparently he always folds the continuation bets the four times that I've been up against him, which <laughs> in 618 hands, I haven't played much with him. Oh, there's, um, there's the nut flush going up against the second nut flush, or third nut flush, if you want to call it that, because he has Ace King suited. That's unfortunate for the person that had the queen nine of hearts. Um, yeah. Oh well. Poor show. And I get to watch Rockwise. Rockwise here. Um, looks like he's out of position against one opponent. And uh, the board is pretty dangerous. I mean, there's conceivable flush. Well, there's conceivably a made flush, if not a flush draw. And um, there's straight draws on the board, so he really needs to think about it. Which is, um, he's taking his time. He might be in his time bank now. Shut up, whoever you are. Yeah. Block chat. No talking allowed. Nice moon raise here. Mm -hmm. raise. Okay, so. Micro Donk. That strikes me as being a pretty accurate name from the looks of it. Ah, stop talking, all of you. Ooh, and there's a flat call. That's interesting. Flat call of a poorly played squeeze. Pretty soon I'll be able to play another table. So, oh yeah. Rockwise disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a ballsy all-in. <laughs> um, okay, quick note. Bull bluff with nothing. Flush. Board. Okay, that's a fold. Okay, check fold. Um, Okay, and that person raises the 12, which is actually, considering the raise size, or pardon me, considering the three limpers, that's actually pretty appropriate. I have to pay attention to this Ludger 45. Looks like he might be a okay player. And Microdonk raises and gives me a thumbs up, which means I'm going to disable his chat too. Because he can go to hell. Damn, I would have flopped him. Oh, yes, he but I think that's half the pot size. I, it's possible that this Microdoc player is somewhat competent. I don't like his min-raising, though. Um, I would have 
had fourth, third pair. Too bad. Ooh, eight, uh, eight tray suited. One of the worst hands in the game. And unfortunately, my phantom OESD did not complete, so I do not get to phantom stack these people for all they're worth, for all I'm worth, because I'm a mid stacker and they're both relatively deep. So, well. Ooh, a huge min raise. Uh, click raises on river. Okay. Yeah. Gotta love those click raisers. No thought involved about pot size or bet size. Just click raise button. Uh. I always feel like those people are um, being attacked by an anaconda or some other creature that's absolutely taking all their attention away from poker, but they're still dedicated to playing. Ooh, three bet here. Uh, queen 10 is a little bit outside of my range for three betting. Um, and there's still flux flux behind me. It was pretty, pretty tight, but I'm just gonna let one go. Which is great, that means I haven't played a hand in a while. Anyways, yeah, the, I always feel like people who click raise are being attacked by an anaconda or a gigantic tarantula, like the size of a person. And they're just trying to fight it off and also play poker at the same time. So they're like, oh, uh, 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 raise, I have a good hand. Uh, uh, get away from me. You know, you get what I'm saying. <clears throat> so unfortunately, I get somebody posting the blind. Uh, I would steal raise here, but I need to have a seven suited according to the starting hands chart in order to ROL with this. Ooh, I get seven deuce on the big blind for an excellent free play hand. Tilt people. Uh, I wish I had a lot more chips so I could just call here and try to flop the nut flush, which is one of my favorite things to do, but oh well. Um, so I'm up against four people in the upper left with nothing, so I think the appropriate play here against um, three opponents is to check hold. Four-handed pot with seven deuce. Yeah. Not really interested in trying it. If I was heads up and they checked around, then I might consider betting out five cents or something like that on the turn just to um, take the pot um, if nobody wants it. But mm, oh, and it's checked around. I wonder if my seven high is good. If you look at that. Well, I'm still not going to take a stab at it. I mean, whatever. Whatever. So maybe somebody's playing Deuce Tray. Suddenly got lucky. Got shot filled out. Crying out loud, I'm not playing many hands. Come on, come on. Ten. Unfortunately, also holds. Especially against a raise. White Blade. I don't have much of a read on this fella. Um, I sure play this short stack though. I think he just doesn't buy in. He's just a probably a casual player. Raises. I think it's probably consequential that he raised a somewhat appropriate amount for the situation according to his stack size. But. Ooh, no continuation bet. That's interesting. Um, I think you should have continuation bet on that hand. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think he probably should have done something on that hand a little bit differently there. Um, 